Hello everyone, this is Navin Chandra Gauda, welcoming you all for the uh, session on sample programs in SIC and SACXC. So in my last video, we considered uh, uh, arithmetic expression as one of the example and we considered only for the expression is having only the variables. So now let me take you to the next case where the expression is having the uh, constants. So yeah, let me take this example as when the expression comes having only the constant so how to generate the sic program and sic xc program right so for that so let me take up uh, the case study for your understanding let me put this separately and here is my problem statement so let me put it uh, sic separately so wherein i'll be generating sic program right here at the left side i'll be placing the sic program and the, at the right side where I will be placing the XC program right and uh, for your understanding let me consider a simple uh, example as m is equal to 10 plus uh, 25 so you can understand so here the operator which I am using is only uh, the additor, addition operation but you can make use of any kind of uh, operator right you can make use of any kind of operator so for that scenario so make sure that understand my dear so here the 10 and 25 are the two uh, values so it is not only you need to allocate the memory space you should also initialize these values so in that perspective okay so yeah, in that perspective try to understand so what i'll do i'll just uh, yeah for your understanding i'll just place this is a uh, one of the memory space right so like this i'll be using three memory spaces okay i'm using the three memory spaces yeah, I'm using three memory spaces. Whereas the first memory space is uh, considered to be a, a M, uh, not M. The value which I have to uh, store, just the uh, uh, ten. And in the second memory space, wherein I'll be storing the value as twenty-five. And in third memory space, where actually the resultant after adding these two values, what are the result and that I'll be pushing placing in the uh, third memory space. So for we, for this example, so what I'll be do what I'll do in the sense uh, let me initialize these with the uh, simple variables. So okay. So I, I can call with any name, my dear students. I can call with any name. So here in this example, let me call this as a uh, like you know a v1. So as a variable one or constant one, any name you can make use. It's not that only v1 or v2, whatever I'll be using here. This is v1, v2 and the em. So like this, there are three variables uh, where the two variables has a value. So they are considered to be a constant and m is the value which will be need to be uh, generated after performing this addition. Same way, uh, same as example, uh, previous example, whatever we considered. So in the in case of SAC, we are, I'll be using the accumulate register. So this is what an accumulate register. So I'll say this is what accumulate register. So first and foremost step, first and foremost step. So okay before i i go on to the operation so first let me complete this declaration part in the program okay so let me complete the declaration part so yeah i'll just uh, take this one right so, yeah what i'll do i'll just uh, make sure that your program has the three parts which is label uh, opcode and the operand so as i mentioned you'll be having the uh, uh, totally I need to perform the three declarations where two are the constants and the uh, one is the variable yeah right so what I'll do yes so here I'll just uh, declare which is v1 so v1 and the v2 as I mentioned v1 and the v2 are the two constants and those constants has a value which is v1 is to be have a v1 must be initialized with the 10 and v2 must be initialized with the 25 right so in the as uh, you need as those has the value so for which uh, you can't only make use of the assembly directives like reserve word so for which as it is a, a constant value constants can be declared by using the assembly directive like a word so there is what v1 and v2 is allocated declared or initialized with the uh, word whereas m it still is a variable and uh, for which you need to allocate one one word of memory space for which you'll be using the uh, reserve word assembly directive now you are done with the uh, declaration part now what you have to do my dear so once after declaration is done what you have to do in the sense however you need to first you need to push the first content first value what is the first value 10 you need to push onto the a 
right so the how to do that so however it is LDA where is that pen it is in the V1 so LDA a V1 it is LDA V1 once after a 10 is pushed on to the A then 25 has to be added with it right so for which so what I'll do 25 need to be added with it so that's what 25 need to be added with that value so this is what let me make it separate color so that's what will be performed with the add and where is the 25 25 it is in the v2 you can observe the only difference between the previous ex pro example program to this here is with respect to the declaration because in the previous example we considered the variables whereas here we are considering the a constant upper ranks right so now what we did we, we push 10 to the a then 25 is pushed to the a which is uh, sorry 25 is added to the a so the resultant is still in the accumulated register which is supposed to uh, push it back to the m right so this resultant has to be pushed back to the m so for the for this how to get it so we have a operate we have the op code which is sta and to where you have to store back it is the m for this you just have the end and the beginning you have the start that's it this is the sic program this is the sic program so name you can give name it anything my dear students i can say that example so i'll say ex fine and that is also you can have anything doesn't want it anything for that matter so this is the sample program written in the sic okay there's a sample program written in the sic for the expression having the uh, operands to be a constant operands right now let me show you how can you perform the how can you perform in the SACXE or how can you generate the program in the SACXE coming to the point like in case of SACXE in case of SACXE my dear try to understand one very very important uh, factor here is that so you don't have to allocate any such this kind of uh, declaration you don't have to do it in the SACXE because in case of SACXE we have plenty of registers which can be used directly what I'm trying to convey in the sense so without declaring these anyhow you know the value as 10 and 20 by using the immediate addressing mode you can directly uh, place that value it is as same as LDA hash 10 so what has happened the value 10 is directly pushed onto the accumulated register by using the immediate addressing mode in the same way you can also do the LDS I can say LDS LDS uh, hash 25 so where the 25 is directly pushed onto the register yes so my dear students I don't need any memory space I repeat again I am not at all using any kind of memory space so here understand this is what the accumulated register it is as same as A to which you push a 10 okay for the A you push a 10 and again you made use of one more register what is that register you made use of yes right yes for which you push it what a 25 right so these two you can perform the addition i repeat these two you can perform the addition between what uh, between the uh, register to register that is where you will be using add r add r yes comma a if you say yes comma a where the resultant is still in the accumulated register that you need to put it into the m whereas m is the one which will be holding the result right that m is the one which will be holding the result so that you can put it into the uh, m so which so in this example understand you need only the memory space to be declared or initialized only for the m not for the two values as 10 and the 15 whereas in case of sic you are supposed to initialize the values very uh, memory space you are supposed to initialize the memory space even for the uh, constant variables also i repeat constant values also because you don't need such kind of additional registers or immediate addressing mode is not available not available in the sic right so what what we'll do so the resultant whatever is there in the accumulated register that i am pushing onto the m which is memory space so what we did we initialize a to the 10 yes to the 25 we performed addition between them now i need to push it push the resultant onto the m right so this is the so i know i don't need these two uh, lines at all so this is the simple uh, sic code snippet for performing the uh, addition between the two operands whereas those operands are a constant values right i hope you understand now let us let me take up the next case study in the, my next video